Batteries are one of the most critical components in an off-grid solar panel system or just in your RV, golf cart, or bass boat. So when you find yourself shopping for deep cycle batteries for any of those applications, it's important to understand more about how capacity is measured and what that rating means. So in this video, we'll take a basic level look at deep cycle batteries and their capacity. The definition of battery capacity is the total amount of energy or electricity that can be extracted from a battery. This energy is generated by electrochemical reactions inside the battery cells. Currently, the two most common chemistries for deep cycle batteries are lead acid and lithium ion. There are various subchemistries or types of construction, but those are the two main umbrellas. Both types have different characteristics where the capacity will be used a little bit differently. This video won't go into those differences, but I do have other videos that explain them. The unit of measurement for describing the capacity of a battery is ampere hours, or amp hours for short. An amp hour essentially means the transfer of one amp of current for one hour. Almost all deep cycle batteries have an amp hour rating published by the manufacturer, like this Bosch power tool battery rated for four amp hours. Here's another example. This sealed lead acid battery that you would find in a UPS is rated at seven amp hours. What that means is this battery can transfer one amp of current for seven hours. After seven hours, the battery will then be at 0% state of charge or 100% depth of discharge, which is the point where the manufacturer has declared that the battery is empty. Sometimes there may still be energy left in the battery that you could keep using, but below that point, you run the risk of permanent damage to the battery. 0% state of charge does not mean zero volts, in other words. You may be tempted to estimate runtime by thinking that this 7 amp hour battery can discharge 7 amps for one hour, but that may not be the case. Different manufacturers will measure the capacity at different C rates, and different battery chemistries have different terminology or commonly used C rates. C rate means the rate or speed at which you're charging or discharging a battery. A rating of 1C means that the battery is rated to charge and discharge in one hour. So a 20 amp hour battery that was rated at 1C means it can be charged at 20 amps for one hour or discharged at 20 amps for one hour. But many batteries are rated at 0.5C or 0.2C or even lower. So try to find out the C rate for an amp hour rating before you try to estimate run times for the devices you want to operate on battery power. I'll go into depth more on C rate in an upcoming video. You may see the C rate displayed in another format, especially on lead acid deep cycle batteries. For example, you may see something that says 20 hour rate in the specs. This means that the battery capacity was rated over a period of 20 hours. So a 100 amp hour battery that was measured at the 20 hour rate means it can produce five amps for 20 hours. That translates to a C rate of only 0.05 C. That's very light duty and hardly taxing the battery at all. So you can get yourself in trouble assuming that the battery can get anywhere close to 100 amp hours if you discharge it faster. Again, if this is confusing for you, look for a more in-depth explanation in an upcoming video. The last thing I want to mention is some of you may be comparing batteries of different voltages to each other. In that case, it will be useful to use Watt's law to convert amp hours to watt hours. To do that, you multiply the amp hour rating by the voltage of the battery. For example, a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery would have 1200 watt hours. With that number, you can compare it properly to a 60 amp hour 24 volt battery, which would have 1440 watt hours. Anyway, hopefully that helps some people with a baseline understanding of battery capacity. I kept this video short and sweet and as basic as possible. But if you have questions, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please give the video a thumbs up to help me out.